Hey, are you getting a sense of deja vu? Because I know I am. So, welcome to Box City again. <laughs> uh, sometimes I hate how high definition this camera is. I haven't taken a shower. Uh, this shirt is covered in cat hair and dirty and uh, yeah. But we are packing. We are packing. These. We are in the last week. Um, I am so fucking ready to be gone. <laughs> so um, let's take you through the house and show you what progress we've made in the packing process. Alrighty then. Okay, so we, here's the front window. All right. Um, the moon room is completely non-moon. <laughs> no moonness. All the moon room boxes are here, um, mostly. Um, all the shelving and everything. Um, here's my stack of boxes. Um, and here's what our living room looks like. So uh, you may remember a lot of this because this was what it looked like, you know, six months ago <laughs> when I moved in full of hope and uh, those hopes were dashed. Um, my kid was my kid was playing with their slime. That's this is this box is full of slime. Uh, Paige is obsessed with slime. So anywho, um, here are more boxes. It is fully in disarray. Um, but yeah, we are getting the fuck out of Dodge. We are getting the fuck out of Dodge. Oh, also, we're at the point where boxes are very random. We've got some light bulbs, some yoga mats, uh, an iron, some ratch a ratchet set. <laughs> Very, very random. Um, most of the clothes have been packed um, in these clothing box ba bag things. Um, so, you know, uh, that's gonna be handy dandy. Um, so let's sh scope out the mostly empty closet. Uh, this is my ex-husband's stuff. Um, he is still staying with us until we get settled into Greenville and then he's getting his own place. But anyway. Um, this is all empty. That's where Lilith's altar was. I packed all my other plushies away, but I wanted to keep Mothman because he makes me happy. Hey, uh, this is what I'm wearing. Um, a shirt from yesterday that still has queso sauce on it. Uh, I got this shirt from Hot Topic though. It's super, super cute. Uh, and my Nightmare Before Christmas pajama pants that I got from Walmart. Snazzy. Okay. Perfume, hair products, jewelry. All of this is pretty much Dunzo. Uh, most of this is empty. I hate the stressor and I cannot wait to get a new one. Oh my god, Violet. I still need to pack uh, all the bathroom stuff. So all this still needs to be put in a box, uh, but I'm doing that today. Um, but as you can see, the walls are barren. The walls are barren. This was full of family photos. Those were the first to come down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> made that a priority. I wanted to get those packed extra well. Um, kitchen, um, I have started, but there's still a lot of stuff we use on the daily, so I, I've kind of been pushing this to the last, uh, for the last portion of our packing. Let me get a light on in here. Okay, so I, I'm gonna be packing my vanity today. So all of this is gonna be in a box today. That's the box I'm using. Um, <laughs> happy little jack o' lantern dude. Um, all of my collectibles are here. Uh, I have my kids' plushies in there, mom's plushes, kids' plushes again, uh, <laughs> throw pillows, you know, um, all kinds of random shit that I can't fit in a box. Um, we have to get that stereo in a box here. Um, this closet is mostly empty though, so that's progress. I've gotten all the clothes out of here, all the knickknacks and stuff. I just have this. So this is pretty much done. But my lovely vanity, um, I'm excited to start packing this stuff, but I wanna be very, very careful with all of my palettes. Um, but I'm also in the mindset of if a palette breaks, it's fine. I have, I have enough. I have enough palettes. It's too many. <laughs> oh, really, Brandy? It's been a wild ride, um, and this was a learning experience for sure. Hi, Rascal Man. Hello. You coming to be in a video? Oh my goodness. Hello. All the animals are here. They're all very concerned. 
<laughs> Loki. Um, I, if you haven't heard, um, I did name my the stray that I found, the stray cat that I found on the axle of a car, named him Axel because I found him on the axle of a car. Well, he has brought nothing but chaos into this household, so we have changed his name to Loki. He seems to answer to it better. Haven't you? <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. You're so funny. Okay, so yeah, so he's Loki now. He's not Axel, he's Loki. And this is still Roscoe. Hello, buddy. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling weird. Backstory. My dad had taken a picture of my mom with her hummingbirds before he died. And I've never interacted with hummingbirds. The hummingbirds thing happened after I moved out of my mom's house. But I just, I never lived in a place where hummingbirds were a thing. I've just never interacted with hum hummingbirds in real life. Um, it just, it, you know, and I know they're real. Just, uh, I just never saw them before, right? So the picture is relevant. The picture my dad took of my mom with the hummingbirds is relevant and I will explain how it all ties in in just a moment. Um, but when I moved out of my house, when I sold my house and moved out, the, one of the last days I'm on my back porch with my dog looking at my phone and a hummingbird flutters down, looks me straight in the face, okay? And I, had a, I started getting emotional. I'm like, why am I getting emotional over seeing a bird, you know? couldn't figure it out. I started crying. I started bawling my eyes out. And I called my mom. I was like, mom, I saw a hummingbird. It looked at me. And she goes, this is fucking weird. She's like, I found the picture your dad took of me with my hummingbirds this morning before you called. Out of the blue, I just found this random picture. I, I don't know. It's crazy. And it was me and my hummingbirds. There's a ton of hummingbirds. And I found it this morning. And I was like, that's really crazy and I was like maybe it's my dad trying to like reassure me that I'm gonna be okay and that this you know I'm making the right choice to sell my house you know it's one of these things like you can choose to believe in that kind of stuff or not and I feel like it doesn't cause any harm to believe in it maybe it was just a crazy coincidence you know as a skeptic a natural skeptic I I'm the first to say ah oh, just a coincidence you know but it, it was like I kind of kept that in the back of my mind, you know? And then I just forgot about the whole incident and, you know, moved in here and it's been hell since I've moved in. This place has been terrible. One day after another, it's just been one shitty thing after another. Um, you know, just the noise and the crime and the drugs and the trash and the dog poop. It, it just, there's no trees. There's no trees. And I, I don't like that. Um, I don't think I realized how much that was going to impact me until I moved in. But yeah, it's just been crap. So leaving this ha this apartment before the end of the lease, way before the end of the lease, is not the best financial decision, um, but it's worth it to me. Um, I do not want to spend Christmas here. Seriously, what the fuck? The upstairs neighbors threw their garbage into a tree from their window. So I got the apartment in Greenville. Uh, I'm pretty sure I said that in the last video. Uh, I officially have been approved. I'm getting the keys this week, Friday. Friday, I'm picking up the keys to my apartment in Greenville, South Carolina. And I'm so excited. <laughs> um, you know, I've gotten most of everything packed. So, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good about that. We've got the mover scheduled. Um, it's just insane that this is happening and I know I've talked about moving to Greenville uh, multiple times and it's now actually happening and I'm so excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this morning, tying back to this whole hummingbird thing, this morning I was talking to one of my neighbors who has also experienced a lot of hardship at this apartment complex. And sorry for the noise, my washer is very loud. Um, but yeah, I was talking to my neighbor this morning and she's like talking to me about how they just caught some guy who stole a bike running through the neighborhood and there's 
police after him. And this is at like 10.30 this morning. That's how shitty this place is. So at 10.30 this morning, there's a dude stealing a bike and there's fucking chase happening in my apartment complex while I'm trying to let my dog poop in the dog park. So I'm talking to my neighbor about this whole situation and two hummingbirds flutter down in front of me and her. And she's like, those are hummingbirds. And she's like, I've never seen hummingbirds here. And I was like, I haven't either. In fact, the last time I saw a hummingbird was when I was moving out of my house. And that was the first time I've ever seen. This is the, only the second time I've ever seen a hummingbird was here at this very moment where I'm talking about leaving this apartment. Um, coincidence, maybe, possibly my dad reassuring me that I'm making the right choice. Okay, Roscoe's being very needy right now. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, so, sorry, I had to move rooms because there was being, it was, I had to move rooms because it was really noisy in the other room and now it's just as noisy because these guys. Stop it. Loki. Okay. <laughs> ridiculous the passing the anniversary of my father's passing is on august 16th i'm moving august 17th and then i see these hummingbirds the weekend before i move it's just a little too coincidental if you ask me roscoe is very bored of this conversation so anyway um i'm feeling very strange about the whole thing but like in a good way like i'm excited but i'm almost like in disbelief that it's real. I'm almost <laughs> in disbelief that it's happening. Um, so, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited and I feel like my dad is telling me this is the right move. This is what I should be doing. Oh, also, okay. I had a bunch of people reach out to me and they're like, oh my God, you're leaving. We should totally hang out before you leave. And I'm like, okay, it was like five different people who asked me to hang out with them individually before I left. And I was like, I, I can't, if I did that, I wouldn't have enough time to pack. You know, I have to work. Like <laughs> I work eight to five and then I have to pack as soon as I get off of work. Like it's, it's, this is not the time for me to be doing roundabout, like seeing everybody individually, right? So it was like, oh, I'm just gonna do like a going away party. So I told everybody like two weeks in advance that I was having this going away party. And I invited 15 people, four people showed up. So uh, that right there just shows me how little I matter to the people here. And that my thought that I don't have a support system here is a very valid thought. I don't have a support system here. And last night reaffirmed it for me. The ones that care about me, like truly care about me, showed up. Shit happens and, and life happens and people have their own lives and you know, maybe they don't have the ability to make it out. But the ones that specifically asked me to come see them, you know, for them to not show up really shows how little I matter. You know, that is all the reassurance I needed. Um, so I, I really feel like everything is telling me it's time to go this place isn't for me. Now, is it possible I'm gonna hate Greenville as well? Sure, sure. But this place is definitely not serving me. So on that note, uh, I wanna thank you guys for kind of being here along the entire journey and everything like you guys have been here since day one and you guys have been in support of me relocating for a long time and I'm finally getting to do that. And so I just feel like it's coming full circle, you know, and I'm excited on this next adventure. And I think my dad is here to push me that, that way too. And on that note, uh, I guess the next time you see me, I will be in Greenville. So <laughs> let's finish this shit out. Let's fucking go. <laughs> You guys are amazing, you're gorgeous, and if anyone tells you anything different, they can suck it. <laughs>